One teenager is under arrest. Three others are recovering after a stabbing outside of Miami-Dade High School. Among the questions tonight, why were the stabbing victims at that school in the first place? CBS 4's Ty Russell live in Kendall with the story. Ty. Yeah, as the three teens are recovering here at the hospital at Kendall Regional Medical Center, one parent whose child was not involved in this confrontation at all says he's concerned about the rest of the students. Police sirens were heard throughout the streets around Felix Varela High School in West Kendall Monday. During a downpour after dismissal, when a student stabbed three others with a knife, a parent says he's concerned for the safety of his ninth grade son. He lives nearby and he walks to the, to the house every day. That's why I'm here to see what the school is going to do, what they, the county is going to do to prevent this type of situation. Miami-Dade Schools Police Chief Edwin Lopez says police were able to catch the student quickly and charge him with possession of a weapon on school grounds. The officer was, at, uh, was nearby, was able to call for assistance and respond to the scene and quickly put uh, the, the uh, or appreh actually apprehend the suspect. It's unclear what led to the violent confrontation as more than 2,000 students, parents and teachers were leaving the school. That's still under investigation at the current time. However, uh, the, it is confirmed that detectives in the preliminary investigation that all parties involved did know who uh, one another were. Police say three teens approached the Varela student who was sitting in his car. There was a confrontation, and then the chief says the student in the car pulled out a knife. The chief says since the three injured teens started the fight, they are now facing burglary and battery charges. The chief confirmed the three are not students at Varela. He also says investigating this wasn't easy. We've been dealing with, with tumultuous weather uh, all afternoon, which didn't assist in the part of the investigation. The chief says there will be extra officers at the school Tuesday just to be safe, which is a step in the right direction for one parent. I don't want my son to, uh, my, my son, ha kind of ha anything happening to my son. And as for the three teens who are recovering, police are telling us they're stable. At Kendall Regional Medical Center, I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.